Have you ever wondered how a natural penile erection differs from an induced one? This query takes us on a fascinating journey through the human body, particularly the male physiology. Let's begin with the process of an natural penile erection. In simple terms, a natural erection is a physiological response to either sexual thoughts or direct contact with the penis. It's an intricate dance between the brain, the nervous system, and the blood vessels. Once the brain is aroused, it sends signals to the nerves in the penis, triggering a rush of blood into the penile artery. This sudden inflow of blood causes the penis to enlarge and harden, resulting in an erection. This entire process is involuntary, meaning it's not something one can consciously control. It's a natural response of the body to sexual stimuli. So now that we understand how a natural erection happens, let's delve into the world of induced erections. An induced erection, unlike a natural one, is a result of medical intervention or the use of certain devices or medications. Let's delve into this a bit more. There are several methods to induce an erection. Penile injections, for instance, deliver medication directly into the penis to stimulate blood flow. Oral medications function similarly, but they work systemically, meaning they affect your entire body, not just the penis. Then, there are vacuum devices. Essentially, these create a suction effect that draws blood into the penis, causing it to become erect. In essence, all these methods work to artificially stimulate blood flow to the penis. It's like flipping a switch to turn on a light, whereas a natural erection is more akin to the sun gradually rising. Both illuminate the room, but the processes involved are quite different. While both natural and induced erections result in the same physical state, the processes involved are quite different. So, how exactly do natural and induced erections differ from each other? Well, both natural and induced erections result in the same outcome, an erect penis, but the journey there is quite different. Natural erections are spontaneous, typically occurring as a result of sexual arousal. The brain sends signals to the nerves in the penis, causing the muscles to relax and blood to flow in, leading to an erection. On the other hand, induced erections are brought about by artificial means. This could be through medication, injections, or even mechanical devices. The goal here is to stimulate blood flow to the penis, bypassing the body's typical arousal response. While both types of erections involve the nervous system and blood flow, the triggers are different. In one case, it's spontaneous arousal, while in the other, it's a form of medical intervention. In conclusion, whether natural or induced, an erection is a complex process involving the nervous system and blood flow. The key difference lies in the trigger, spontaneous arousal versus medical intervention.